There's on the Winding Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling the Dead Orbit armor set, the vanilla stuff. And on one hand, I do like this armor set because it is the EDZ planetary armor set, um, which I love. That being said, there are some big differences. The biggest thing is being the fact that a lot of the pieces have the Dead Orbit insignia. So I would probably just recommend the EDZ stuff if you are interested in the armor set. That being said, there are some, there are some cool pieces to this. Like I think the helmet uh, for the hunters is really, really cool. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go see the armor real quick because uh, <clears throat> because I don't remember how it looks right, like off the top of my head for some months. So the other thing is the Titans, specifically the boots, um, the like line does not change color. So a lot of the pieces are just not going to be able to change color. So if you see uh, the Dead Orbit insignia, just be aware that a lot of that's not going to be able to change color. Uh, but the Titans, I think the arms are pretty cool considering there are different than the other ones. And yeah, honestly, it's just the EDZ set and I love the EDZ set. It's just that this one is just going to have pieces that are unshaderable. So I don't really have too much to talk about this because again, if you like this set, just go get the EDZ set. It's much better. And in the long run, you'll enjoy it a lot more because unless you're a fan of the, of the dead orbit, like faction, which we don't have a lot of people anymore considering factions are gone. But if you do like the dead, the dead orbit faction, then pick these up to represent. Unfortunately, I just don't like the dead orbit and the factions are gone because back in D1, they were like pretty important, not important, but like people definitely judged you on which uh, faction you repped. Let's just say that. As for weapons, we have grid skipper with tunnel vision and multi kill clip and a range masterwork which is interesting i'm definitely gonna pick that up because i don't think i have a good one um <clears throat> i mean we'll see later because uh i'm interested to see which my grid which grid, what i have on my grid skipper seven sir vy7 which i'm not the biggest fan of this smg it's a precision frame and i mean these perks are pretty trash so i would say ignore that <coughs> Extraordinary Rendition with Zen Moment and Thresh. I'm not even going to look at that. Iclos SRV 1.0.3. Fragile Focus and Incandescent, which I'm going to ignore. This is a masterwork weapon, though. So if you want to pick this up, definitely pick that up. We have Soul Survivor with Outlaw Focus Fury, which, like, no. Just in case, I'm going to ignore that. And then Bad Omens with Field Prep and Kill Clip. So that's pretty much it. And then we have Hawk Moon with opening shot and then Dead Man's Tail with Outlaw. Hawk, Hawk Moon with opening shot is definitely a worth pickup, I think, for me at least. Um, that being said, I'm not using my Hawk Moon that much anymore just because uh, I shouldn't say that. I use it quite a bit. Of, like I, I used it a, like a few matches ago, if I remember correctly. So I love this gun. If it's from D1, but I don't know, man. <clears throat> As for the exotics, we're going to be looking at the Warcliffe coil that's interesting i i'm weird because i like this gun on in pvp i like it quite a bit it the, it's still really good if you know how to use it and you're not a fucking potato uh that being said a lot of people will just use it as a regular rocket launcher and use it from far don't do that you have to be pretty close to the enemy um i usually use it in the air and then just kind of go at it blow my load in front of it be aware though that because this throws a lot of rockets, you do have a chance to miss, but I'm, I usually never miss, especially if I'm really close. So that's how I use Lord Cliff. Uh, Gwizin vest with pretty high mobility. Wow. Natural 20. Mm, you could bump it up. You know what? Because Gwyn's vest is not an exotic, you would, it's not like an exotic you would have on all the time. It, this is one of those you, pl you put it on when you have your super on. You could definitely plop it up when you have it. You get more resilience, more mobility, which I don't know how, mo how good mobility is when you have that super. But honestly, I think they just they should just change Gwyn's, Gwyn's Invest's uh, exotic thing because vanish after super blades kills for more super energy. Like it's, that doesn't what each spectral blade kill you make before going into stealth will restore more of your super energy. So you have to kill a lot of enemies and then go invisible, which I guess you could use your dodge or you could use your heavy. Probably you want to use your dodge to retain some energy, some super energy, <clears throat> but 
just change it because this is no one uses it because a you have to actually switch to the to this exotic so that way it could actually be beneficial when you have your super and then you have to switch out because again you don't want to use this useless super so or useless exotic so for me this is just you need to change it kepri's horn with solar kills recharge a solar blast barricade this one's fucking wild um kepri's horn i never thought it was going to be good and now it's actually pretty good uh, that being said, these rolls are fucking terrible. Winter's Guile, uh, I would ignore this one as well. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for the exotic, let's actually check it out. Orpheus Rig? I mean, I already have an Orpheus Rig. It, unless it's like really good, which I have no faith in this game that it'll give me actually good items. <clears throat> but you might never know. Might make, give me some fire. Um... Let's actually go see it real quick. Let's see what this exotic does. Nothing, because it's trash. All right, that's cool. I was expecting it to be trash. That's fine. Um, It's more my fault for expecting it to be good. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for Mazur. Again, there's some weapons that I definitely would pick up. For sure, Grid Skipper, you should definitely pick up just because I feel like Grid Skipper is such, such a great weapon in PvP. Uh, it's a rapid frame, so it's going to be really good. And it's also, it also has multi-kill clip and tunnel vision, which both of these are going to synergize really well because both of these are on reload. So that's why I say definitely pick this one up. I don't remember how. It, yeah, like a shader is pretty good aside from this right here. That's pretty terrible. But other than that, yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of picking up. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.